What's going on, YouTube fam? This is your boy Psychotic Heart here coming at y'all once again with another life vlog. And in today's vlog, we're gonna be unboxing this bad boy right here. Let's get into it. actually opening it up and taking the drone out and everything let's let's go and take a quick look at the box here so as you guys can see right here it gets obviously gives you an idea of what the drone itself actually looks like from the uh, design of the box uh, this camera obviously like down there any drone on the market these days sports GoPros one second <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. anyways uh, this camera I mean this drone does have an attachable gimbal uh, only downside is the gimbal is sold separately, but that's not a problem as well because I actually ordered the gimbal along with the drone. However, for some reason, though I ordered them at the same time, I got the drone an entire day earlier than I was supposed to get it. While everything is, was, is supposed to be here Saturday, today is Friday, Veterans Day. I got the drone, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so first and foremost, let's, uh, let's take a quick look around the box. Uh, look at the details here. It has pro shots with the push of a button. Uh, the drone has orbit mode, it has follow mode. Uh, yeah, cable cam and selfie slash reveal cam. So those are some pretty awesome settings. Now, the orbit, follow, and selfie, those are pretty self explanatory. But let me uh, read over what this says real quick here about the uh, cable cam. Log on to a virtual cable to keep Solo on track. And that's all it says in English. The rest is in other languages I do not understand. <laughs> but let's see. Have a look at the back here. Alright, so as you guys can see, the drone seems to be fairly big. Uh, it does include a regular uh, housing for the GoPro, you know, just a regular one for being uh, attached to a drone. Uh, it obviously supports first person view while you're flying with this you can see indicate on the controller here uh, from the details I've read um, it does not come with its own screen so just like with like let's say the uh, DJI Phantoms you're gonna use your cell phone or a tablet or whatever it is you want to use and that's how you're gonna get your first person view uh, footage there now though the drone does not come with the gimbal it does have a um, USB cord that plugs into the microphone jack on the GoPro so I presume that even though I don't have the gimbal right now I may still be able to get a first person perspective once I start flying it but who knows I sure as hell don't and let's take a look at the last side of the box let y'all go and get a quick picture of that alright let's see Designed for aerial, photo, and video. Push button camera control. Gimbal presets and cinematic shot creation, of course. Uh, let me, let's see, live HD video on your mobile screen. Plug in the controller's HDMI port for live HD broadcast. Built to evolve, ready for solo gimbal, third party accessories, and more. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take care of everything. Wait, no, uh, yeah. We're going to take care of everything in the box now. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of actually opening up this bad boy. So, I already went ahead and pre-cut the little tape they had. All of these tabs up here to make life easier. Now, obviously, I'm going to want to lay it down when I open it. Mm, let's see. Ah, oh, okay. Chunk, look at this. Just graphics on graphics on graphics. Graphics fucking everywhere on this shit. And I'll okay, for that. Ooh. That's nice. Holy shit. Dude, I'm thinking there's just gonna be a bunch of styrofoam in here put around this damn thing, but uh, get push this to the side. Okay, it's not okay, I'm <laughs> I'm not as impressed as I initially thought I would be. I thought this was a full solid waterproof and everything carrying case. Well, I mean, it is still 
a carrying case and whatnot for the drone, but okay, it's just not really work for very much. That's that pull on it right there. So <laughs> pulled it. I love it. Whole damn strap come off. That's dope. Ta -da. Man. Wow, it really is. The drone really is the same size as the image they show you on the box. So if you guys go to Best Buy, uh, as far as I know, Best Buy is the only retailer that you can physically go to when they actually have this drone. But if you go there and look at this drone on the store floors, now you guys can see from here that the size that the drone is on the box is the exact same size on the inside. Now right, let's, uh, let's be gentle. Ooh, that'd be heavy duty for real. Ooh, look at that. That'd be nice, bud. All right, like I said, it does include a housing here, and up oh, there it is. The uh, cable I was talking about. Uh, however, it's currently situated to come out on the uh, left side over here, so may just have to go ahead and uh, flip it around, and should be good to go, you know? <laughs> wow, okay, so you put the camera in. Let me show you guys. This is how they got it set up here. You actually put the camera in upside down, because it has the button right here, but that's your record or stop button covering right there. So now yeah, that's that's uh, very interesting. Okay, it snaps, opens up just like that there, and closes. Doesn't seem very secure. Maybe I'm just not pulling it all the way. I guess. All right, what's this? That says link. That doesn't look like something that's meant to be removed. Now when you get the gimbal. For the drone, you actually got to take loosen up these four screws here. No, actually it's three. One, two, and three little screws on here. You're gonna loosen those up to remove this here. All of this uh, set, this entire set right here is removable. And you attach the gimbal. Like I said, I don't have the gimbal yet, so. And it uh, looks like this is the battery, I believe, because yes, it is. Oh. has a big size battery. I'm going to give y'all a screenshot of the battery real quick so y'all get a better idea. And if you guys want, you can go ahead and pause it right here to read over everything right there. But in the meantime, I'm not going to go over that stuff right there because it's very nice. Let's see. You have, I have a nice little foam insert here to keep the battery from um, being directly plugged into a drone. I guess that way you're not killing it. That's pretty nifty. Now anything else come off of here? No, no, no. Alright, you have these three, three little, um, female ports on it right here, and you have three plug-ins right there, plug directly into there, obviously. Hopefully when I plug it in, it won't automatically turn on, right? But I see here, our right, power button up here. Uh, I love when I get, get stuff, new electronics, especially and have all this plastic on it. It's just so nice to me. So, boom. It's connected, got a power button on top. Now my question is, how do I remove? Okay, it has a button right here, so obviously I'm just gonna press that and slide it back. Yep, and that's how you remove the battery. Put it on, slide it forward, press button, slide it back. Cool. Just gonna keep the battery on for now, buddy. Let's see what else is in the box. Uh, pretty well organized from what I see here. Okay, I see the controller. Ah, there. Whoa. Nice. I was not expecting that. Damn, the controller as well, you guys. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It got all this plastic on it too. Uh, I don't want to take it off, but I know I'll have to at some point. Look at that. Oh man, that's, that's just sex right there, son. Just straight sex. Now, I know this here knob is, controls the, uh, the angle of the camera when you have the gimbal on, but I just noticed it has something else here. Let me see what this is. What? Ah! Wow! Angle presets. Like you said, preset angles on this stuff. Nice. Even has an HDMI port here on the back of the controller. So I guess that plugs into your phone. No. 
All right, so no, you can go ahead and slap my phone on here. See what it look. See what it is. And this one goes side side. Yep, yep. So obviously, I'm put my phone on here in landscape mode. Oh, for Oh, just the left side pulls over. Got it. So I want to set that on there. Pull that over there. Set it on there. Uh huh. Let's go down and. Yeah, this is the uh, controller setup. Pretty neat. Even has simple instructions for how to start the drone up and whatnot. So I'm, I'm just going ahead and leave my phone sitting on here for now because it just looks fucking beautiful. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person where whenever I get something, especially if it comes neatly packaged like this right here, I always, 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 always keep everything like when it comes to foam inserts and whatnot when i'm done removing what they, whatever they were covering stuff i always put them right back in the box exactly how they were because i know it's not going to happen but if something were to go bad with this drone and for some reason i gotta send it back to amazon i want to i want to send it to them in the same condition they sent it to me in. i mean obviously the plastics won't still be on here unfortunately because they're already kind of loose so i can already tell that once this drone is in the air these plastics especially on the back of the drone here I don't want to reset shit coming off and getting caught up around any of these damn propeller blades. So fuck that shit. That noise, son. Alright, now we got another box over here. Dude, this is so neatly packaged. Usually, with other drones I've seen and stuff, when you remove them from the box, it just, everything's just wrapped in plastic and it's like it's just thrown in this spot over here, thrown in that spot over there. Every now and then you get something that looks like someone actually took the time out of their day to properly set it in there. But this, so far, this is beautiful. It's just, one and got another one here so one two three four dude how simple is that just four things to remove from the box and then you just take everything else on its own now this here uh will seem i have to cut this little seam here oh wow it's even labeled solo battery charger wow look at that so okay so i know i don't i don't need the battery charger right now because i mean it's always nice to charge them before you start flying and everything, but I'm pretty sure it already has quite a bit of power in it. The way everything was packaged in here, I know they did not send this drone to me flat out fucking dead, son. So, and look, it says getting started. Yeah, this one's a lot lighter. Wow, I love this. It tells you everything that's included in the box here. I'll give y'all a screenshot of that. All right, so we got solo obviously here we got the setup guide the propellers controller charger and leg extensions she has extensions for legs yeah so this bitch can get even taller hot damn that's dope <laughs> so i guess in my hdmi cord and whatnot will be up in here i'm going to grab my scissors so i can cut across here y'all can go well can i just open it from the side maybe uh, Oh, that's a negator, hunky door. Yeah. So let's go in. Yeah. Cut across there. I want to be gentle because, like I said, I like to keep. I like. I like to keep stuff in new, new condition. Even the packaging. I, I like to keep it in new, mid to new condition. I know I'm gonna tear all into it, but is it so wrong for me to want to keep stuff looking nice? Look at that. See, we still see the seam there, but at the same time, it's open. I'll let you boy. Alright. So here's the setup guide. I'm going to go through all of this. But I do not want any kind of mishaps. Well, okay, this okay. I got the English setup guide and then there's a second setup guide here included. Uh if I'm not mistaken, this thing is from um uh, Germany. This is a German or Russian um drone. I don't necessarily remember. But but Here's the type of drone it is. Here's who makes it. There you go. So solo setup guy. English. I'm gonna need hang on to that right there. And then I get the propellers. What the hell? Oh wow. And charger for the controller. Okay, so I don't know. That's not what I thought. That's not what I thought it was. I thought this was an HDMI port that uh, plugged into the top, but no, it's a charger for the controller. Oh. 
got pillars, I got silver props, and then I have black props, and then I got, what is this? What, what, what are these four things? What, what, no, these must be the leg extensions, I'm guessing. Ah, yeah, I was right. Right up top, right there, it says solo leg extensions. And it says something else on the back here. Install for extra height, okay. So from what I see here, they just slip on right over the legs. Gives you extra height, so that way you, if you're putting the drone down in tall grass, sand or something like that, or landing or taking off from there, gives it extra height to me. I would just probably end up keeping these on. See if I can figure out how to install it real quick. Oh, I see. So it already has little rubber ones on it. And, yep. Just squeeze them at the very bottom to remove the ones that come on the drone, and then you place them with the taller ones. Uh, so I can give y'all a height difference here. Here's the one that I just took off. Here's the, one I'm putting, the ones I'm putting on, as you can see. They get, uh, about an inch. Uh, height difference about an inch. Half an inch. I say three quarters to a full inch height difference, but I'm gonna put the taller ones on anyway. So a few moments later. All right, not sure if you guys can tell the height difference or not, but yeah, I went ahead and uh, put new ones on the leg extensions because, like I said, I, I feel the taller is better. The higher your camera is off the ground when using your drone, the better, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna take the ones I took off, slip them back on onto the little sleeve here, and. Slide them right back into this little slot where I got them from. Alright, now let's get the propellers. We got the silver props and the black props. And, ooh, it's color coded. See, you got silver, silver, black, black. Makes it a lot, hella easy for you to uh, figure out what blades go over where. Oh, wow. So you get, you actually get three of each color. So it actually gave you one extra blade for each color. That's that's pretty neat. As far as I know, most drones in Guild they'll give you um one, one like one full, well maybe two full sets, two full sets, maybe not entirely sure. But for now, got my silver props going here. Mm -hmm. Now, I've used a drone before, so I already know that when putting the uh, propellers onto a drone, you don't necessarily got to tighten them down ultra tight, believe it or not. That is, that is not necessarily necessary. You would, you would think that you had to because you'd be afraid of spinning off, but no, believe it or not, once this drone is airborne, these propellers actually end up getting a bit tighter while it's flying, so you don't got to worry about that. And to remember, I keep my black propellers on the bottom and my silver ones on top so that Whenever I'm traveling, traveling, carrying my um, drone with me somewhere, I know what goes where. Alright, so let's go on and slip this back in here. Close it up. And for the time being, I am going to keep this in here. Alright, now, I haven't gotten any USB cores in this box so far or anything like that. So, well, I presume that that kind of stuff might be in here with the charger. So let's go and open this box up now. All right, turn to the side for you guys, so you guys can see. I'm sorry that um everything look kind of clustered here, but this is the best spot with the the best table and the best spot with the best light lighting I have here available in the house to be able to properly display everything for you guys. So it's a little cramped here, but I I make do with what I got, you know. Uh, this here is just uh, all right. Actually, looks like something in here, some kind of envelope. Yep, ew, stickers. Just like the GoPro or anything else. You buy it. We send you stickers for it. Right, we get, got some stickers. Uh, oh, some reflective tape that goes on the front of it. That's pretty cool. And then you got a bunch of things safety information, blase, 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 blase. <laughs> I'm not going to use any of this right now. I probably will use the stuff, just not at this moment in time. So let's go ahead and close that back up. See, I freaking love this, man. They, they actually put everything into an envelope 
anyone else, they would just had all the papers just sitting up top like that. But these guys actually took the time out to make a special envelope for your papers. They're not going nowhere. That's fucking amazing. Top quality shit right here, fam. All right, here's the charger. Put the battery and yeah, even has success. 3DR on top of it and got a little uh, flip off piece here. A little cap. Okay. Ooh. Now that's some heavy duty stuff there. Big. Big. Beastly. And this here is obviously the other end. Uh -huh. Or so I thought. Okay, I guess this plugs into the battery. And, okay. Okay, yeah, this plugs into the back of the charger. Okay, cool. Gucci. Well, that's, uh... That seems to be everything that was included with the drone, fam. I'm gonna look through it real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm just gonna keep this stuff sitting in here real quick. Alright, fam, and uh, there you have it. That's my, that my full unboxing of the Solo 3DR drone. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and Fly with drones, see how it performs in the air and everything like that. And uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't told you guys yet, but you guys go to Best Buy to purchase this drone. The drone itself is $400 at Best Buy. The gimbal is an extra $100. However, excuse me, I got both the drone and the gimbal from Amazon. Now, I have a Prime membership, so obviously I got a bit of a discount. If you guys don't have Amazon Prime, I definitely recommend you go ahead and get yourself Amazon Prime because for me, the drone was a 362 and some change, and the gimbal was 86 and some change. So all in all, I paid 414 and some change for the drone as well as the gimbal, right? Does everything with DJI Phantoms do, a lot less money, and in my opinion, it's actually, it actually looks cooler to me. I mean, I know some people like how a DJI Phantom got a little, instead of having the four stilts, it has the two bars on it and stuff, and it, and, uh, it has that sensory detection for, um, well, collision detection. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this drone having collision detection, so that's a bit of a downer, but it's not something major enough where it's going to make me be like, you know, this drone fucking sucks. I'm taking that. No, fuck that son. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, head outside, see how the drone performs and everything. Hopefully, I can even record a nice opening to this vlog using the damn drone for you guys. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, go and leave me a like down below. You know, it really keeps me going knowing that there are people out there who actually enjoy my content. I got some vlogs out there with only one or two fucking likes. And you know what? I don't give a damn. As long as the content I'm putting out is liked by at least one person, I will continue to put out content. I will continue to strive to put out great content and stuff. That's just me. My dad always taught me when I was coming up as a kid. If you're going to do something, do it 100%. Don't go, don't go through your life half-assing anything. That's the worst thing you can do. Because if you half-ass one thing, you're going to half-ass another thing. And before you know it, you're half-assing your whole life. Me, fuck that song. I'm going full ass. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but anyways, fam, this is me, boy, Psychotic like Heart, and hands for useful. Peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh